Hi everybody and welcome to the video. I'll be showing you how to make a game ready asset in Blender and Marmoset Toolbag 4. Let's just go back to the, um, the front view or the side view for a moment because I've forgotten to address this part here because we you know we extended this out nicely and rounded that bit there off quite well so let's switch to wireframe mode and switch to vertex mode if I get into edit mode that is there we go and we're going to select some of these vertices and go up to about there and alt s and holding down the shift key bring that up a little bit not too much that may be too far actually because this isn't that far out so we could actually exaggerate that a little bit more perhaps but for now for this demonstration let's just select uh, these ones here alt s bring that up a little bit deselect the last one there the furthest one away alt s a little bit more deselect alt s deselect alt s like that Right, let's save that again and, and now I'm going to tap into edit mode and we're going to add a little bit more geometry in some of these areas. Okay, um, let's start off with the back area here because that's really low resolution there. Let's try doing this one only, these two edges. And let's do control B and bring that out. Just click and leave it there for now, but don't click away. So we want to look at these options here on the side that have come up. So what I'm going to do is change this from offset, which is the default, and change that to percent. So with that, you can just click and drag and bring that out like so. I'm looking at that gap there, so it's kind of equal to that part there. So I'm going to hold down shift and refine that. So that's pretty good. Now what happens if we click away and we obviously lost some of our hard edges that's easily rectified by shift and then holding down control to click that do the same there and right click mark sharp we did the bevel but we don't have things like auto merge on which is up here in the top right so these vertices here if I can get in there you can see just barely see there you have vertices there and there and this one of course we have vertices there and there so we need to merge these effectively so I'm going to select one at the bottom here if I can click it a bit fiddly there it is select that one above it and press M for merge at last so we've done it there let's select the same vertices here so this one first that one second and M for merge at last so now we've got that result what does that look like in object mode? That looks pretty good. Although you will notice here, I don't know if you can see that if it's coming across on the video. There we go, you can see it there. You're getting this really kind of sharp shading. And that's because the way the bevel has worked out, this is actually connected up here. So this is a really bad way of connecting that up. So what we can do there is either delete this edge and reconnect it over this side across this way which makes a lot more sense um, well you can connect it there actually um, let's try edge and rotate edge clockwise and that will do that which is fine but now we have this polygon here which is again fine but we don't know how blender is <clears throat> excuse me slicing this up presumably it's going to be here to there but so I want to make sure that is the case by doing it manually so I'm select these two vertices and press J we also have a bit of a concave. Is it a concave or a convex? I always forget. Um, shape going on there. So I'm just going to make sure that's fixed by doing that. And this part here, I think what I'm going to do is let's make the triangle go to that one there. Lovely. So we've rounded that off there quite nicely. Now, we could go a step further if I save that and actually space this out a little bit better. Select the first vertex, hold down control, select the last one there. So we've got those selected. 
Let's use loop tools again. Right click loop tools and select space. And do the same for these ones here. And see if the result is something that we can work with. So right click space. I, think, I feel like we need to tidy these as well. So these ones here, select these three, right click space. And now we've got that stretching going on there again, which I don't really don't like. So I'm going to select that edge there and head up to face, sorry, not face, edge, rotate clockwise, like that. That's much nicer. Let's just finish off by making sure these ones as well are spaced out a little bit more. Let's do the same for this front part here. So I'll select this edge and this one and press Ctrl B. Tab into edit mode and what we want to do now is we'll sort this out later you can see there's not a sharp edge there but um we want to basically extrude a bit of a metal thing here but let's go to the annotate thing um so it would be like this effectively inside that bit there or something like that right right so that's easy enough to do because you can see we have some nice faces there we can select these three like that and press e to extrude just bring them out. Let's switch to the front view. And it's going that way. Let's bring them up a little bit. Like that. We don't have to go as deep as that. If I switch that to normal, I can kind of push it back. Like so. Um, bring that out as just enough to not see a gap there, basically, in between the handle. And uh, maybe perhaps move that down a touch. Just enough to give the illusion that something's there, right? And we don't need these faces, we're not going to see them, so I'm going to press X or delete and select faces. And now we've got these edges which are sharp, let's just clear those. Let's just select that loop there by holding down Alt. And these don't need to be sharp either, so let's clear sharp on these. And let's make that one and that one there. This one and that one sharp like so because it goes into a corner as i said feel free to optimize this better than i have uh, as i've already mentioned earlier plenty of vertices there we can get rid of and, and quads make this all triangles if you need to um not a problem at all and we'll crack on and i'll see you in the next part or the next chapter where we're going to start making the um the handle <laughs>